What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me. Getting in these 10,000 steps. I'm a, I'm here at a shopping center. It's called The Hill, or at least that's what we've dubbed it, us locals. Um, and it, it got me to thinking about this particular topic and it's looking poor and why it's beneficial to look poor. Now, when I say looking poor, I don't mean you gotta look toe up. I mean, I'm looking kinda toe up right now. I uh, need to get that cut. I don't know, maybe later on when y'all see me when I'm like actually out doing the rest of my steps, I'll have made an effort to get trimmed up and stuff. But that's neither here nor there. When I talk about looking poor, I'm not talking about looking toe up. You don't gotta look raggedy. What I'm saying is you don't have to look flashy. You know, this is very important when you're trying to save money, you know, when you're not trying to uh, spend, spend more that, than you need to. Saving money is one component of trying to get out of the hole in terms of uh, being broke. But also you want to conserve when it comes to spending. So you don't want to spend money unnecessarily. You want to look for deals. If you guys are looking for clothes, look look for deals i've gotten so many things from like marshall's and burlington and tj maxx stuff at a fraction of the cost that you know it otherwise would have been had it been acquired from macy's or whatever place you shop at instead i got it for a fraction of the cost and i got the same clothes as you do but where you might have paid 70 bucks for that shirt I pay 25 for it. And that's not an exaggeration. I've seen this over and over and over. I've got a few Detroit Tigers shirts that I seen at the Nike store retailing for 80 bucks and I got them for 24 bucks. Two different times, two different shirts, two different times. When it gets cool, I might wear one of them out. If I can remember to, I'll like uh, mention about the fact that it's one of the shirts that I got for 25, that was 80 bucks retail. But, you want to look for deals. But what I'm saying about looking poor is I'm wearing like some Superman tee right here, right? It's just a Superman tee. I'm not raggedy. You know, it's just a Superman tee. It's got some wings on it or whatever. You know, it's cool. This shirt, I think, now I bought this a while ago. I think I got this like 2006 from like Hot Topic. I think it cost me like 20 bucks or something like that. But that's just what I mean. When you buy stuff like this, there's no pressure uh, to like be fancy. If you're wearing all this name brand stuff and don't get me wrong, I have my fair share of name brand stuff. But a lot of times when y'all see me out here doing my, my daily step videos, I'm not wearing anything super expensive, super flashy. I mean, I, I do be, I still be fly. I still be put together. But, you know, I don't be wearing anything crazy. I think the most expensive thing that you guys have seen me uh, wear while I'm out and about doing these is my, my jerseys. You know, jerseys tend to not be cheap. You're gonna spend like 130, 150 on a jersey, usually. But that's, that's just on occasion. I'm talking about day-to-day -day attire. I see people out every day they're trying so hard to look flashy you know just to go and do mundane tasks they're they're on their way to target and i say target because that's where i'm on my way to they're on their way to target they're on their way to kroger or whatever grocery store that they deal with they're on their way to just a bookstore and they gotta be gucci or chanel from head to toe and this is really unnecessary because it puts you in the mindset of you have to always be keeping up an, an image. So when you just wear regular old clothes like I'm doing, you know, like I, I'll show you. I bet I can tell you, you know, I'm wearing some some gym shoes, some shorts, Superman tee. This is very basic stuff. But when you just wear regular clothes and you're not trying to be super flashy all the time. I can get flashy when I want to, but it's not necessary. When you're trying to be flashy all the time, it keeps you like thinking you have to always uphold that. So if you go shopping for, you know, new clothes, 
you're not thinking uh, budget, you're not thinking, I don't wanna say frugal, but you know, perhaps a little bit frugal, a bit price conscious. You're thinking about spending more money off rip when you really shouldn't be. And ultimately that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna spend more money because you're more worried about trying to keep up an image. When you just buy regular stuff, when you just wear regular stuff, it takes the pressure off of you from having to keep up such an image. And that's why I recommend it. Buy regular stuff, wear regular stuff, especially in your day to day. Like, why are you trying to impress people so badly? You know, if they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. You know, there's nothing about what you're wearing that's gonna suddenly make them appreciate you more if they don't mess with you like that. So that's what I mean, man. Like, it's all about, it's all about mentality. There's different things that you can do physically that kind of psych yourself mentally. And I think how you dress is one of them. You know, we hear clothes make the man and all that sort of stuff. And that's true to a certain extent. You know, if you're going for an interview or something, yes, you want to absolutely look your best. But if you just out here doing some casual shopping like I'm doing, you're going to get some OxyClean for the house, you're going to get some, um, you know, pack a steak that you're going to grill later or something like that. You don't got to be flashy, bro. You can just be out here doing, doing what you do. Just be clean. Just be presentable, you know. And honestly, and this is especially for men, you know, you being in shape is going to matter way more. Be quiet, Siri. Oh, my God. I don't even know. I don't even know what I said that Siri picked up on and started doing all this looking for something or whatever. But I digress. You know, uh, body game is always going to matter more than whatever clothes you're wearing. Because me out here wearing what I'm wearing versus a guy that's a bit on the sloppy side, but he's wearing, you know, some some fancy, you know, two, three thousand dollar outfit. And yeah, it do be motherfuckers out here wearing two, three thousand dollar outfits. I see it all the time, man. I'm in a city that loves flash, man, for real. Black folks love to go to a party or something and get flashy. So yes, I see this all the time. And you know that this is what it costs because they can't shut up about what they spent on their outfit. So if it, you got some guy that's, uh, you know, a bit on the sloppy side, you know, some, some, some pudgy motherfucker that never goes to the gym, that, uh, that a t-shirt he wearing he should be wearing a 2x but he wearing a size medium for whatever reason no true story i see this all the fucking time i see uh, i see chubby dudes with uh jiggly bellies wearing size medium shirts and uh skinny jeans i don't know where this look came from perhaps it's some rapper or something like that that came up with this because the younger generation tend to do whatever rappers do but uh, he out there, he got some fancy outfit. You know, it costs way more than what I'm wearing. But look how sloppy he is versus the the Nike jogging shorts, the Superman T-shirt and just some, you know, running shoes that I'm wearing. Bro, he's not going he's not going to get the attention of the chick over me because my body underneath the clothes makes the clothes look better so even though they're not some expensive name or whatever she's gonna be looking at me over him because all he has is that outfit you know and don't think for a second that when a chick sees you and she looking you up and down she's not thinking about how you'll look outside of that she is but i'm gonna leave it there man y'all don't have to be flashy you can look you can look poor it's okay to look like you ain't got a bunch of money. It's okay to wear, you know, regular clothes. You know, I honestly don't consider just wearing regular clothes looking poor. I think just wearing regular clothes is just choosing not to go out of your way to try to look flashy all the damn time. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Appreciate y'all connecting with me. Leave me that like, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.